Okay, so I had a request um, to create some tutorials on Twine um, for your Twine project, and so I um, I thought I'd just do a little bit of a video tutorial to show you how best to use this tool. So the first thing you need to do is follow the link. Um, I, the Twine program is located at twinery.org, and um, this is a program that you can download onto your computer and use offline um, on Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can also use it online. Um, so you can create your story actually in your browser and then save your story off of your browser um, and then uh, export it and, and, and post it to our course site. Um, this is probably the easiest way to use Twine. That way you don't have to download a, a program and you can do it on, you know, on like an, an iPad on lots of different um, devices. So just click use it online and then you'll be brought to your Twinery page. You can see that I've already started a story here. I was just doing a little testing um, and any stories that you have saved in your browser will appear on this um, on this landing page. Now you want to make sure when you're creating your Twine story that you're using um, a non-private window on your browser, so don't be in incognito mode or anything like that, or it won't save properly. Um, you also want to make sure that you do not delete your internet files while you're working on this story. If you delete your saved internet files, then um, the Twine story will disappear. Um, so, to, in order to start the store, a new story, you click the plus story button right here and you create a name for your story. So I'm going to call my story The Forest. And we're going to add, oh, I already made that one. So I'm going to do The Forest Part 2. And we're going to add a new story. Now, when it creates my story, it gives me an untitled passage right in the middle. This is the beginning passage for my story. And so I'm going to double click my passage to edit it. Now, if I delete the text um, in this box, you get a lot of help text that'll give you um, some ways to uh, to organize your story and some ways to set uh, set variables and do all sorts of things. You can play around with a lot of stuff. The main thing that I want you to do here is create an interactive story that's non-linear. So what you're going to be doing is is creating a story that branches depending on the choices that the player makes. Um, and so the most important thing for you here um, is the instruction here on how to link to another passage. So the way to do it is to, in square brackets, put your link text and then an arrow that's a dash and a, a triangular bracket and the name of the passage that you want to link to. So here's how it goes. I'm going to... Um, create this new passage and I'm going to say that you wake up in the middle of a forest. There are paths to your east and to your south. Now my um, link text is going to be go east and I'm going to go east to a passage called clearing. because it's going to be a clearing in the forest. And I'm going to have another link text called go south, and I'll go south um, to a passage that I'm going to call waterfall. Okay? So, now when I click off of this, let me maximize my screen here, if I click off of um, the passage, you'll see that it created two new passages for me clearing and waterfall, and that when I go into my original passage here and I press play, I've got link text, go east and go south. If I go east, it goes into the clearing passage, and if I go south, it goes into the waterfall passage. Okay? So, I'm going to try to click off of this. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the clearing. Um, actually, I want to title my original passage. So I'm going to give it a title. We're going to call this Forest. Okay. 
So now I'm going to go to the clearing and um, write a little text. You enter a clearing in the middle of the clearing is a chest. Now um, I want to have a couple of options here. The first option I want is open the chest and I'm going to um, lead that to another passage that I'm going to call chest. Remember you do it in, in double um, brackets there. And then I'm also going to have one that says go west so that I could retrace my steps back into the forest. And go west is going to lead to the forest. Now I want you to see what happens here when I click off of this. When I click off of this, it created a new passage called chest because that's a new node for my story. And I can click on that and I can edit um, you know, some information, put in some information about the chest. And it also gave me an arrow going back to the forest. Now I'll show you how this works. When I press play, um, oh, we're going to play it down here. Um, I wake up in the middle of a forest, paths to the east and south, I go east, you enter the clearing, in the middle of the clearing is a chest, I can open the chest, or I can go west, and if I go west it takes me back up into the middle of the forest. So, um, that's how you connect these passages together. Now, if you take a look at the instructions here, there are a lot of other things that you can do. If you want to bring in um, some styling, and add some, uh, some images and things like that to your story, you can use um, some HTML tags and things like that. Um, you can also set variables and then use variables that you've set. I'm going to make another video that will show you how to use these variables. and We'll show you how to set a variable for an open chest or a closed chest. And um, we're also going to look at um, how to make hooks and use if-else statements and things like that. There's a lot of documentation on this program. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it's pretty user-friendly. And you can create a really interesting story with this. So hopefully this will get you started. Um, and I'll make another video here about um, using some of the more advanced tools. All right, good luck.